Road Talk, brought to you by RACT, supporting safer roads in Tasmania. Driving requires you to focus 100% of the time. You might think you're an experienced driver solely focused on the road, but is it possible that you're not as attentive as you might think? Bianca is about to be put through our special driver test. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident about this. It should be pretty easy. We've asked Bianca to count the number of times purple t-shirts cross the road and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, 10, 11, 12. How many? 12. But how many pandas did you see? Seven, eight. Did you spot nine, the panda? Nine, seven, eight. No. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see that. <laughs> it was right in front of me, though. I didn't even see it. Inattentional yeah, blindness is when you don't see or hear something that's directly in front of your vision. So your eyes have cast their vision over the object, but you just literally do not see it. As she's driving down the road, she's being told and the instructions being given is to, to count the purple t-shirts. So she's using all of her mental effort to drive the car and count the purple t-shirts. If she has focused her attention on the task, she won't see the panda. What we fail to recognise is the amount of mental effort it requires to drive a complicated vehicle on a complicated road system, pay attention to everything that's going around, on around us. You can't do all of that and be on the phone or texting or um, engaging in complex other activities. The most common distractions are talking on a mobile, reaching into a bag, looking elsewhere, putting on makeup and texting. The single biggest problem with texting is the person fails to estimate how much time has elapsed. You've traveled 50, 60, 80 meters down the road doing 60 kilometers an hour in the time it took to read that message, but your estimation's not there. You don't understand what you've done. Well, I had my eyes on the road and I still missed something, let alone looking down at my phone or at the radio or something, so it's quite scary. 